In this lesson, I'll show you how to combine lettering with the design. From the File menu, click on Open. Navigate to the directory where your design is located and click on the name of the design. And then click on Open or simply double click on the name of the design. It opens in the workspace Maximized, meaning as large as it can appear in its entirety. From the left toolbar, click on the 3D icon, or from the View menu, click on Draw 3D to see a realistic view of your design. Now, before beginning to add lettering, let's change the viewing scale to allow room for the design and the lettering to be viewed on the screen together. For many designs, you can do this by changing the viewing scale on the View menu, go to Zoom, and select 1 to 1. Or, in the Viewing Scale dialog, you can select 1 to 1 or 100%. If your design is quite large, you may need to go to View, Zoom, Zoom Out until your design and the lettering can appear on the screen together. And here's a tip. If you ever lose your design off the screen, go to Zoom from the View menu and select Fit window. The design reappears into the screen at the largest size it can appear in its entirety. To return to the previous viewing size, I select View, Zoom, 1 to 1. Click on the text tool that's best for your design and lettering size. For letters 1 half inch and a smaller, Click on the F for fine line small fonts. For letters one half inch or larger, click on the T for standard fonts. After selecting the tool, click inside the workspace in the general area where you want your lettering to see the starter letter appear on the screen in the default font or the last font used. Select the font you would like to use. For now, let's leave the size at the default, just over 3 quarters of an inch, because we can change it later. Highlight the starter letter A in the Properties box and type your desired lettering. Click Apply to see the lettering appear on the screen. To move the text to the proper position in relation to the design, place the cursor over the text. Move it around until you see the cursor appear as a small hand. When the cursor appears as a small hand, press and hold the left mouse button while rolling the mouse to guide the lettering to your desired position you'll see a wireframe image of the lettering as you move it. Finally, let's look at the color of the text and add a color change if desired. In the Sequence View, the text is the last object in the final color segment. Click on the letter A next to the word text to select it and then click on the Commands icon in the Text Properties window. If you want to change to a color that already exists in the design, such as Color 3 in the palette displayed at the lower left of the screen, just click on the down arrow and click Apply. The color is instantly changed on the screen. If you would rather have a totally new color, simply click on the up arrow until you reach a number that is higher than the last number in the palette and click Apply. If this is not the color that you want, simply click on the color chip in the palette and your thread chart dialog appears. Select a new color 
and click OK. Notice that the new color now appears in the palette at the lower left of the screen. To save your new creation, go to the File menu and select Save As. Navigate to the directory where you would like to save the design in the Save In dialog. Next, name your design. I'll call mine Night Night. Finally, choose your desired stitching format. Mine is PES. I'll use version 9 and when I click Save I can access my new creation from that folder. So I'll close this and when I go to open in that directory here's my design and I can preview it here click on it and open it and now we're ready to stitch it